Welcome to this edition of We the People. Today we're going to discuss the New England Primer. Many of you have no idea what that is, so <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little about it. But first, let's talk about the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. It is quite possibly the greatest, most influential document written in the last millennium. Have you ever wondered what kind of an upbringing and education the founders received that helped form their thought processes and their ability to bring 55 men into one accord to frame an agreement that they undoubtedly knew could cost them their lives? When I say the Declaration, we're not including the Articles of Confederation or the Constitution. Those are three separate documents. For those of you that have forgotten your civics class or slept through American government, the Articles and Constitution basically set forth the rules for operation of our government. The Declaration of Independence declared that we would no longer be bound by the tyranny of Great Britain, but instead declared ourselves as free and independent states. So back to the founders. What kind of schooling did they receive? The first reading primer and basically only elementary textbook in the early 1700s in America was the New England Primer. Four and a half by three inches in size, it combined the study of the alphabet with reading the Bible. Each letter of the alphabet introduced a religious phrase and rhymed couplet, and then illustrated that phrase in a woodcut. It also contained prayers, creeds, moral lessons, and a catechism of religious questions and answers. It was often called the Little Bible of New England. The New England Primer, which by the way sold more than 5 million copies, was the textbook and reading primer for our founders and their surrounding generations. And it was based on the Bible. It was instrumental in establishing the morals and free thought of our Christian founding. Since our government and courts no longer support or endorse the value of the biblical founding of our country, then it is up to us, the citizens, to embrace teaching our children the same biblical principles that helped to guide the great minds of our founders. So why have most U.S. citizens never heard of the New England Primer? Well, you can help. Tell someone about it today. Remind them that the reading primer used for more than 100 years in the U.S. was known as the Little Bible of New England. Thanks for joining us on this history lesson on We the People.